Hey, it's Firestorm ERC. There are some tools out there available that allow you to remove malware, browser hijackers, rootkits, viruses, junkware, and all that types of stuff that that actually help your computer stay clean, get cleaned, and stuff like that. So you end up taking your computer to a obviously computer repair place. It's gonna cost you hundred to two hundred to three hundred dollars. Now, so there's tools out there that allow you to clean your own computer up. Now, some of this might require you going having a different access to a different computer, or maybe even having you go in a safe mode to. Uh, remove this particular threats off of your computer so I'm just gonna go over these types of tools here and what they do and and I always recommend running malware bytes anti-malware after running this stuff and running a virus scan with your virus protection so let's start off ADW cleaner removes browser hijackers so basically you will run the tool and what I would do is anything that you see come up because uh, there's gonna be different tabs anything that you see come up search it on the internet to know a little bit more about it to see if it's worth uh, deleting or if it's something that you need to keep that's what I did I looked up the sharp registry keys values and stuff like that so I could figure out if it was worth deleting and most of it was worth deleting so you want to do that with ADW cleaner now cleaning will require you to reboot your computer and then it will show you a log file after you reboot so the next thing is junkware removal tool removes like iLivid and ask toolbar which some of this junkware that is obviously installed with freeware so that helps you remove that and then you have rogue killer which is also another it's similar to ADW cleaner helps you remove other malware stuff like that so you can run rogue killer too and see what you find see if it's worth removing stuff like that and before you run some of this stuff, you could run R kill, uh, which will go and find malicious processes already running. So that will allow those to be ended so that you can run these other security programs. Okay, so then we have the rootkit detectors, which is going to be Gmer and TDSS Killer. And so these will find the rootkits I recommend TDSS killer but Gmer also also is a rootkit detector okay so the next thing that we have on this list is going to be log analyzer and what this does is when you run hijack this or any type of thing and they create a log file you can put it in the log analyzer and you can see if it is something that needs to be removed if it's malicious so that's always recommended run it in the log analyzer unless you already know that it is something that does need to be removed from your computer okay hijack this is obviously will allow you to see what you have on your computer and to see if you have any uh, malicious stuff on there so yeah, like again, you can also do research on the particular files that these programs find. Okay, so here's something called Startup Control Panel, which allows you to remove entries from startup, run once, and all this stuff. So that's a good program for that. Alright, so last but not least... We have combo fix. Now the combo fix. This is obviously one of the 
removal tools it will automatically remove malware viruses and stuff like that and it does require your antivirus to be disabled and sometimes there has been instances where it messes up the operating system so you run a combo fix at your own risk uh, something happens just make sure you have a backup copy or something so you can just automatically go back to where you last were any toolbox is just a little tool thing that reset proxies and all that stuff I think hosts or stuff like that so I think I have a video on mini toolbox um, but some of these other ones I don't believe I have any videos on uh, hijack this I know I do but anyway so yeah and then like I said run malware bytes anti malware run a virus scan and the last thing you can do is you can also find bootable CD uh, bootable ISOs so you can burn those to CDs and run it on startup and remove stuff like that you can run an antivirus on startup you can there's a utility kits that you can use on startup you just burn it to a CD and start it on startup make sure you have your BIOS to set to your CD-ROM first that way you can boot up that CD, that bootable CD that you created. Like I say, you can also go in safe mode. Uh, obviously, if your normal Windows is hijacked with a bunch of junkware and stuff and it's running slow, that is your ultimate solution is going to safe mode and running Malwarebytes in, Malwarebytes in safe mode. That's probably uh, one of the best things that you could do. Or run those bootable CDs uh, that you can create. So there's a bunch of different tools out there that will help you keep your computer clean, help you get your computer clean. So hope you find this stuff useful. If you have, please give this video a like. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Catch you in the next video. Bye.